Before long, I'm festivaled out. It's a gorgeous day, one that's calling out for a ferry ride to an island run by monks. Four islands make up the Lorenz, and two of them are uninhabited. Today's few residents on neighbouring San Marguerite include an Indian beer magnate, owner of Formula One team Team India, and that pretty chateau. We're heading to the Abbey de Lorenz on the island of Saint Honorat a destination for pilgrims since medieval times. The monastery has been in operation since the 5th century, although now it's better known for the exceptional wine and liqueur it produces. The jetty is without my pre-arranged welcoming monk, so I decide to pick a path and find Brother Murray Parks myself. The air is fresh and cool, the flora glistening from last night's heavy downpour as we tour the Abbey's beautiful vineyards. On these eight hectares, the monks grow and harvest a combination of Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Shiraz, Claret and Mouvedre. I asked Brother Mari what makes the Abbey's wines so special. Le, le travail des hommes, des, des frères, mais aussi on a un terroir unique au monde, une petite île avec des influences marines exceptionnelles qui donnent de la fraîcheur au vin. Et puis on a aussi un sol assez exceptionnel d'argile et de calcaire, comme la Bourgogne pour les Blancs ou les Pinots. Brother takes me to look at the restaurant he's built. This is one monk with great vision and entrepreneurial spirit. Besides wine and liqueur is the added income of the restaurant, which in the thick of summer is crowded with day trippers and passing yachties. You've managed to get a beautiful balance happening between, you know, um, the, the monastic life plus, um, you know, the tourists because Khan is only across the water. So, you know, very impressive. Vous voyez ici, nous sommes seuls non? et on est capable d'accueillir 500 personnes ce jour sans qu'ici on ne voit personne et on n'entende rien. Donc, euh, le touriste peut troubler notre vie monastique. Mais euh, ici, on est, on est vraiment seul, seul au monde, si j'ose dire. Euh, puis les touristes nous aident à vivre. Ils passent à la boutique, ils achètent du vin, ils achètent des liqueurs. Hein. Euh, ils vont manger au restaurant. Donc euh, il faut dire aussi merci aux touristes qui nous aident à vivre, même si parfois il y a un peu de bruit, euh, un peu de, de, de fête aussi, etc. Saint Honorat was founded by the monk Saint Honoratus who went to the island in 410 AD in search of solitude. In one of the many legends surrounding him, Honoratus climbs a palm tree to pray and successfully rids the island of snakes. It's how the palm became the symbol of Can. Nowadays, 25 Cistercian monks live a modest life according to the rule of Saint Benoit, in perfect harmony of prayer and work. I feel privileged to be shown this inner sanctum. This is where the magic happens. The equipment is modern, but the techniques are traditional. Down to the cellar. So this is the Saint-Sauveur. Saint Saint-Sauveur. Uh, Saint-Sauveur, being corrected, um, which, is, uh, which you won a gold medal for. Le, la plus belle qualité en, en, en Syrah, hein, où on a eu la, la médaille d'or au concours mondial des Syrah, premier du top 10 en, de, en 2005. So I think we're about to be given a tasting of the famous wine. I've been looking forward to this since I found out it was so famous. Well, that's a big glass. We all have to drink this or <laughs> I'll be drunk. You have a color very sombre for a Pinot. Oui, yeah, it's very dark. Because we have a lot of sun that gives a lot of color, a lot of complexity. Ah, it's amazing. It's quelque chose de fantastique. Ah. 
That is amazing wine. I have drunk a lot of wine and this is one of the most beautiful wines I've ever tasted. Superb. C'est superb. C'est superb, OK. Uh, <laughs> And on that aromatic and earthy note, it's time to go. Leaving solitude and nature and another new friend in Brother Mari Park, who I found to be so lovely and calm. Everyone should have a monk friend somewhere. <laughs>